Face would be strange. It don't hold. Um, most of what I post is just because I like doing weird stuff. Um, sometimes they can be political. Sometimes they can just be a goof nut. Uh, take the video I'm going to attach to this, for example. I just sometimes come up with ideas and, and they seem funny in my head and this was just one of those that just seemed bizarre enough to be fun. So, enjoy! Good evening. I would like to take the opportunity tonight to go through some of you smokers who roll your own how to properly use a Topps cigarette hand rolling machine. <clears throat> now, I first thought this was an easy task to do, but it turns out there's actually quite a few steps in this process, which I'm going to go through tonight. So the first thing you want to do is check your supplies. Make sure you've got everything present you need to roll a nice, fine cigarette. Tobacco. Check. Rolling machine. Check. Rolling papers. Check. Later. Check. Ashtray receptacle. Check. Ice water. Our first part is we position the roller in front of us. Taking the front wheel that is adjustable and moving it down to the bottom of its track. 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 <laughs> With the roll on the bottom and the other roll on the top, you now have a big trough in there where we can now open the can and take out a certain amount of tobacco. Now, what I usually like to use, the amount I like to use, at least, is about a pinch and a half. That's using my thumb and my middle three fingers to take out a pinch and a half about. I put it inside the trough and just spread it around evenly. I'm not going to get it all in there. But I make sure that it's a little bit fluffy up to about where the two tops of the rolling pins reach their azimuth together. Something like that. Then, the next step, you quickly take the pin closest to you, the pin on the track, and you raise it up the track and snap it. Okay, it's a pretty quiet snap, but you'll hear it. You roll it three times. One, two, three. And in there. Then, with your roller, Hopefully you've used a flat surface for all this because it does create kind of a mess. The next step with the roller, you just take it and with the tobacco still in there, just make your tobacco, put it into a little bit of a pile, scrape it back into your can and close the can immediately. You want to keep this open for as short time as possible because nobody likes dried tobacco. Half of it's gone, fell at the end because it was all dry. So you take your rolling papers now. You take out one rolling paper and you face the gum side towards you up. Put this inside the crack that is now made in the rolling machine. Making sure, of course, that the crack is clear of debris first. Looks clear to me. Put it in there. Roll just to about where the gum's almost going to go into the roller, but not quite. Lick the gum part with your tongue or some other moist object. Then raise the, the pin closest to you on the track and put it down to the lower part of the track once again. And poof. You now have a perfectly rolled fine tops menthol cigarette. Could be a lot of birds saved because I smoke non-filter. So from all of us to all of you, I wish you good evening.